I had a question recently on my social media, which was, does tying my hair up cause it to thin or shed over time? I thought this was an important one to answer because lots of people tie their hair up in various different ways. And if done incorrectly, yes, it can cause damage. But when it comes to shedding and thinning, there are other things that could be at play. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the main causes of hair thinning or excess shedding, how tying your hair up can cause damage if done incorrectly, and also, most importantly, how to tie your hair up safely so that when you need to get your hair out of your face, you can do so in a way that's not going to affect your hair in the long term. So first off, it's really normal a couple of times a year to go through an increased shedding cycle. Now, here's something really interesting to think about. Three of my hairs that are about this long bunched up in my hand are not going to look like a big bundle. Whereas if your hair is very long, three of those bunched up is going to look like a lot more. So if you are growing your hair longer and feeling as though your hair is shedding more, could it be that your longer strands bunching up are making you feel like there's more hair in your hairbrush than you were used to? That kind of cyclic shedding throughout the year can last anywhere from a few weeks to a couple of months. And so if that is the case, then it will usually rectify itself over time. But increased hair shedding can be triggered by stress or a shock or poor health or an illness. Uh, and typically what happens there is your follicles are kind of shocked and reset, which can cause a bout of shedding, but then followed by a bout of new hair growth. Pregnancy or changes in hormones in general can really affect the way that your hair grows. Again, again, triggering your hair follicles to shed or grow. And of course, serious illnesses can cause your hair to thin as well. When it comes to menopause or simply just getting older, it's likely that our hair will all get slightly thinner over time, but it's important to know the cause so that then you can take action. If you're concerned about your health or your immunity, then it's worth checking with a medical professional and get some blood work done to make sure that you're not deficient in anything because that can really play havoc with your hair. Your body needs its organs to function, whereas it can survive without its hair. So any deficiencies are gonna show up in the hair first while your body protects its organs and vital signs. So tying hair up can cause damage and it could encourage your hair to break which may be seen as shedding but there's something called traction alopecia that happens particularly around the hairline with either protective styles or very tight ponytails done very very frequently and that's physically where the pulling on the follicles eventually starts to cause them to shed and reduce the amount of hair that they grow. This isn't that common but what can be happening is if you're tying your hair up all the time in the same place the pressure on that hairband could be causing breakage. Now here's something I see a lot that horrifies me and it's not so much about how that ponytail goes in. I watch people put a lot of care in making it look and be gentle with the hairband installation but it's how that hairband comes out. How many times have you seen someone just grab the hairband and yank it out of their hair without care and then you're going to have some strands left in the hairband and that's really going to cause breakage. Maybe just one or two strands at a time but if you're doing that every day or multiple times a day you'll be certain to be getting unwanted breakage that you're going to notice very quickly. So if you do want to exercise or you want to make sure your hair is secured up when you sleep, which I do recommend by the way, here's how I would say is the healthiest way to put your hair up. First off, invest in some really chunky, thick silk scrunchies. The thicker, the better. And I do think silk is better than satin. You're going to secure your hair low down at the nape, either in the middle or to the side. I prefer down here rather than up here because we're kind of in the line of gravity. So it's not going to wobble around putting any pressure on your roots. And then once you've secured at the base, you're going to do a soft braid or you can twist the hair together if you prefer not to have it braided and then secure the end with another silk scrunchie. If you want to go one step further and secure your hair as healthily as possible, you can take that braid and wrap it around the base putting a third silk scrunchie on top to hold it in place this is particularly good for those of you that are runners and most importantly when you want to deconstruct that ponytail or bun make sure you do it gently because that's where the most damage can occur let me know if you try that if you're a runner or if you exercise or just in general when you sleep i really think it will help and in the meantime, if you do feel like you're going through a shedding cycle, if you can wait it out and if it persists for more than a few weeks or months, then definitely consult a medical professional. But most of the time, things do sort themselves out by themselves. Have a great day.